Hello guys and welcome to my little tutorial about uh, APIs and uh, access tokens. I have a example with Twitch. Uh, you can do every, everything you want, but first of all, what the hell is an API and what is an access token? API is just a little call or little application. You want to get like data from their servers. And uh, for example, I did it for Twitch and how to do it, you just type in Twitch dev and then you go into the developers page and on the top right corner there's your console. And as you can see, I did an application and it's called, it has a name on it and a link and the URL is a link and it is calling the local host. It doesn't do anything as you can see, it doesn't do anything when I just call it myself. But what, what Twitch does, uh, it will allow the application when, for example, they just want to check if this application is good or is it bad, you know, they're trying, somebody's trying to hack them or something, you know, then they will give out the client ID and client secret. It's just a number and uh, how to get uh, a valid access token later on. And with that one, you can actually create an OAuthor. Uh, how to create it, I will show it later, but first of all, it's just the post and the post is a is a more more likely a, um, you will send data to Twitch or like a data server and they will check hey is this author the client ID and the client secret valid and when it's valid they will send the access token to you back that is almost like when you try to log in to you know uh, somebody so for example Twitch you want to type in your name and the password and is the password and the name right then you will get access and uh, access is just uh, has a time on it they will send the access and uh, at some point they will just kick you out of the server for example when I'm too long on some page they will just like lock the you off and so that is most likely what's happening on the API so we continue on with post how to validate it and what does it do and are there differences in API requests? And yes, there are actually some differences. Most likely we just look at post and get, but there are also different ones, for example, delete, but we don't care about them right now. What we're gonna do with post actually is um, we're posting something on the server and the server will handle it. For example, data with parameters and the server handles that and it will return, for example, in, in our case, an access token. And then we can do with access token, we can do a get request and with get request, we will also do parameters, but also with access token. So we have access to the server now and it will just return some data. We don't post or we just don't save data on the server like the post does. There's a slight differences between them. They, this, this post saves data and it will return something but the get just returns something from the server so there's the differences and now we continue on how to get an access token now you ask and in my example with twitch you will get to the documentation and then there's also get o author and then also access token there's a lot of text and some differences you will get for example you see here the parameters that's very important, but we were just going to skip them for now because they are important, but not, not now. It's very easy to get confused in this website. It is super easy to get confused. So we're just going to skip to the bottom <laughs> because we want to finish this. Not really, but uh, you will receive the access token here. That is how it looks and it is, will be always a JSON. That, that's how it's called. It's just a JSON object. It is something, it's data we will receive. And uh, you can clearly see by the post here, the access token is res uh, getting back from the server. This is exactly what we're getting to get back. Uh, the response contains and as you can see there's a little post here you don't need to understand this actually right now uh, because I will show you in, in quite a second but there you see the to post and it will just be a link of a token and here's also the author with the token link so we will continue doing that we're gonna continue here now and uh, if you just press or just copy the link and paste it in, in the website it will just say page not found and that's actually not true 
because you can find it but you need some parameters because as you can see here is clearly like a H and a D uh, these are just some parameters you will need to put in and with that I just go to my um, program it's called postman you can download it it's a very popular program for APIs it's very recommended and you can um, start up the postman and just create a new um, call API call and you can clearly see the most important part is here this one the post and you see some other requests you can do for example delete but we just stick to the post because we want to access token for twitch and the link you need to do is this one here client token the first one is very important and that's it most likely it it should just look like that in the first place but after that it's just um, you placing some parameters for the uh, for the token and the token is like client id or needs some parameters for example client id client secret we talked about earlier that and just post it on the right side the value and then a grant type is also uh, uh, required and it's client credentials there's nothing in here but it's just client credential and there are also like authorization because it's a auth author token or the token you don't need actually a token <laughs> so for a token to get a token you don't need a token that's yeah, it is it's super weird, but in the first place, you will get the token and then you get access. Like down there, I got the received access token. But also, you need the header and it's called catch control and it's no catch. Just that's, that's the only thing you need. And then you just send here, click this button. And when it doesn't look like this, you just click prettier because normally it just looks like that ugly thing. And then you get your access token and you can copy it with an expired time and then you are done with APIs and token requests. Nice one. By the way, this will automatically fill itself. We got the access token now. What can we do actually uh, with this access token? And it's just a sneak peek. I will do explain this maybe in a different video, but you can get here, for example, followers, get followers from stream and it will uh, route you to a, like a nice little page where you see what kind of data I get and what kind of um, requests I need to do. And we will just return to Postman again. I prepared everything already, but you can also scroll a little bit down and see response fields and for example parameters if you want to. But we're just gonna return to Postman again. I will just block this off. And this is a GET request because we saw in the beginning uh, there's a POST and a GET and now we're doing GET requested and with a GET request there's a little bit differences here. You got the TO ID and FIRST ID. Uh, first. These are some parameters I need to do for this uh, call for the followers. Uh, I just want to use our followers, I want to get all my followers. I have 218 followers right now on Twitch so these are all my followers right now. And the most important part is actually now author token. What you do with the author token you received uh, earlier in the post request, you just go here and bearer token. In the in the post request you saw that this it was a bearer token, and you just paste in the token here. It will expire in some time, so you need to paste it fast or slow, depending on how fast this expires. And then you just go to headers and then also do client ID here. Um, this just for this get request. And when you're just getting this in the get request, when you send it, it just returns all your followers. When you don't have followers, it will return something like that page. Not, not found as something else, but something like that. It will show you it worked 200. Status 200 is uh, very important, you need to remember that. There is also par 4, 404, for example, page not found or something. These are some internet statuses you need to check. But normally you're done now and you can call Twitch and other APIs. We are finally at the stage where you implement code now after you're done with like uh, postman and thinking about the API and what to do with it and how to get the documentation. We are gonna just go through this class. It will do everything you need to do and then afterwards you have the token, access token, your return. We will go through it. If you don't understand this language, just copy my code and press then um, 
in the web browser, for example, just type in Visual Basic, convert to C Sharp, and you, as you can see, here's Visual Basic or .NET, convert it to C Sharp, press that button, and it will convert everything you need, and then you have the, your language that you want, so you can also get that. But we're gonna go through this little neat program or this little class. Going through the class, the most important parts in this class are actually this here, the token. It's, it will implement another other class you will not have. And it should look like, uh, when you go to the documentation of Twitch, exactly as the JSON object we will return, for example, access token here, expires in and token type, it should exactly look like uh, that. For example, the variables should be the same name so that's the reason there's also an error it shows me like hey you should put that big but I have it lowercase because otherwise it just doesn't work if you spell them wrong and that's most likely the most important part uh, I did a little um, if call if the token for example is nothing then you want to go through or if the expires time is uh, getting to a low point you want to also get um, a new token Otherwise, it will just return the old token because when the token is nothing or when the token is not nothing, then it will just return me the access token, the, the old one I have. And when the expired time is not under 500 milliseconds, it will also just return me the old token. Otherwise, it will generate me a new token. And with a new token, you just need a link and we creating a web request, what we talked about earlier. It will be a method post, there could be also get, but get is a different um, class we don't want to right now. Then content type access headers, that is most likely what the implementation or the documentation uh, says about this file. For example, here's an application JSON file you will want to receive back and we will uh, decrypt or just put some parameters in the next uh, line here. So it will call the getBody method and the getBody method is with parameters as in for example a client ID and you put your client ID here and the client secret put your client secret here or more likely the, on the top there. Um, you will put your client ID and client secret what you got with by creating the application on Twitch or on other platforms and uh, Twitch wants also a grant type so it will also get a parameter grant type and it's called client credential what we talked about earlier and then we going through the contents length of this uh, request and then we just requesting this is actually the call uh, to Twitch API this is this is almost a just like stream right uh, this so my my on data what I got so everything request and uh, the parameters I want to send to Twitch uh, in the full length and I will get a response uh, when I'm done with the request so I did the request now and I will get back a, a token or this uh, little JSON file I got back or something else maybe like a status error like a normally status 200 I got back and then it should uh, work fine or you have like 404 then it doesn't work and you need to think about the, this class again and uh, we'll print out the result uh, result uh, I just read out the response I, I got the response for example there may be an error or not and I will read out the response if the response is an access token so it will deserialize so this this object or this this method I showed here uh, what we got back uh, we will uh, put this token or make or make the result a token uh, my class token this model I showed we, we put the result into the token and the token is everything we need and with the token you can just put a dot on on the back and then it will be expires in or access token and we will return the access token and then you're already working with Twitch API nice one and that's it actually and uh, thanks for watching bye